everyone. We are going to go ahead and get started. Hello. Good morning. Thank you for being here. I know it's a little a little chilly, but it's nice. It's nice. The alternative could be worse. So welcome to story time. My name is Ms. Megan, and I'm here with the Whittier Public Library. So thank you all for coming today. And you know what? We're just going to hop right in and get started with our welcome song. Um, if you've come to st uh, any of my story times before, you know it. We kind of rotate our, our story times and our songs and whatnot, but... Uh, if not, you'll catch on real quick. It goes like this. I'm in the mood for singing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for singing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for singing. Singing along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. Good job. All right, you know what else I'm in the mood for? Clapping. You want to clap with me? Ready? Goes like this. I'm in the mood for clapping. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for clapping. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for clapping. Clapping along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. Good job. All right, so we've done some singing, and we've done some clapping. But what else do we do at story time? We read, right? We read our books. You want to read with me? Yeah. I'm in the mood for reading. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for reading. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for reading. Reading along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. Good job. Good job, everyone. Alrighty. So, you may be able to tell by my lovely clock here that my theme for story time today is all about clocks and time. Now, I know you probably can't tell time yet, and that's okay. That's not what today's about. I'm not going to teach you how to tell time. We're just going to have a lot of fun with some clock songs and some clock stories. So, the first one is a little action rhyme, and it goes like this. But first, let me ask you, do you know what a cuckoo clock is? Do you know that, what, what does a cuckoo clock do? It goes cuckoo, right? Yeah, there's a little bird inside that comes out and he goes cuckoo, cuckoo, and he does that on the hour. So when it's one o'clock or two o'clock or three o'clock, the little bird comes out and goes cuckoo. And however, um, whatever time it is, that's how many times he goes cuckoo. So if it's one o'clock, how many times does he go cuckoo? Just one time. And if it's two o'clock, how many times does he cuckoo? Two times. All right, so are we all ready to be little cuckoo clocks? Yeah, and it goes like this. Tick, tock, tick, tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Now it's one o'clock. So what are we going to do? We go cuckoo. Right? Okay. Now we're going to go again. Tick, tock, tick, tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Now it's two o'clock. Can I see two? Two? Yes. And so now the cuckoo clock goes cuckoo, cuckoo. All right. Tick, tock, tick. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Now it's three o'clock. So what's the cuckoo clock going to do? Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Right? 
All right, now we're going to have a fun one. We're going to skip all the way ahead. And now it's 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. So you ready to count with me? It goes like this. Tick, tock, tick, tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Now it's 12 o'clock. I can't do 12 o'clock on my hands. I don't have 12 fingers. But we're going to count. You ready? It goes like this. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Good job. Good job, all my little cuckoo clocks. <laughs> all right, we're going to hop into our first story. And this one is called Bats Around the Clock. Bats Around the Clock by Kathy Apple. Yes. <laughs> so this one is a fun one. It's all about bats who like to dance all night long. You ready to dance with me? Goes like this. The cameras were rolling. It was live from coast to coast. A special 12 hour program, and Click Dark was the host. At 1 o'clock Pacific time, those bats began to shrug. Do you know what a shrug is? You can go like this with your shoulders. Can go like this. Yeah. At two o'clock, Click Dark said, "Stop! It's time to jitterbug." Jitterbug. Jitterbug. <laughs> That's a type of dance. I don't even know if I know how to jitterbug. All across the nation and all around the world, on TV sets from here to there. The rockin' bats did roll. With ponytails and bobby socks, at three, they took a spin. Spin, 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 spin. At four o'clock, Click said, let's bop, and the bats began to swim. Can you do that? Can you do like a swim? Like swim? Can you swim? Yeah? <coughs> 60 minutes later, our host cried out, let's jive. With a swinging and a swaying, that's what they did at five. Can you swing and sway? Swing and sway, swing and sway. There was a rockin' in the rafters. There was dancing in the street. Then they did the locomotion and they boogied to the beat. What are they doing? What do they do? Yeah, they're like a train, right? Chain through the town? Well, they shimmied and they shammied till the clock turned round to six. And Chubby Checkers took the stage, and the bats began to Night. twist. They twisted left, and they twisted right, until the hour of seven. There was shaking, there was shouting. It was rock and roll in heaven. Good twisting. Good twisting. At eight o'clock, the bats hip hop and dance the hoochie choo, hoochie coo. There's some dances in here that I don't even know. These are some old ones, some old dances. At nine o'clock, those bats got down and did the bugaloo. Just when it seemed they'd all poop out, they broke into the pony. And before the hour was over, they even did the hokey pokey. The hokey pokey. Do you guys know the hokey pokey? 
where you put one hand in, one hand out, and you turn about. Pokey pokey. By 10 p.m., those boogie bats were grooving in their boots. At 11, it was plain to see the group was cutting loose. Look at all those bats. Do they look like they're having a good time? Yeah. Now, all across the continent, in dens around the nation, the audience was waiting for the final demonstration. The air was fairly crackling. When the moment came at last, the clock struck 12. And Click Dark yelled, let's hear it for our guest. Let's see who the <laughs> guest is. He leapt into the spotlight. He belted out the blues. The studio crowd went crazy when they saw his blue suede shoes. He was jumping, he was jiving, he was really in the groove. He had those bats electrified until his final move. Now you kids probably don't know, but that's Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> then he sang to them so tenderly, and he sang to them so sweet. When the midnight hour ended, the bats were off their feet. At last, the show was over. The studio was closed. But tune us in again next year. Click Dark will be the host. In living rooms from north to south, same time, same place, same station, around the clock, those bats will rock. A 12-hour bat sensation. The end. Yay! Yay! All right. So, this is my clock. Now, this clock is not like a regular clock. Normally, there's what on a clock? Numbers, right? But this clock doesn't have numbers. This clock has shapes. So. We have to put the numbers on the clock. So I need your help. Yeah. You ready? So if this is one o'clock, what shape is one o'clock? What is that? A triangle. Good job. How does this one go? So it's right set up. There we go. One o'clock. Yeah. What about, let's see if this is one. Let's go two, three, four. What shape is four o'clock? A heart. A heart. Good job. All right. What other shapes do we see? What's that? A square? Let's see, what, what number is square? So we have one, two, three, four. What number is square? Five. Good job. All right. Let's keep going. What other shapes do we see? <gasps> hexagon. Very good. Do we know which one the hexagon is? This one. All right. If this is five, then we have six, seven, eight, and nine. Good job. Hexagon. That was awesome. I thought I was really going to have to give that one away for you guys, but okay. Let's see. What other shapes? An oval. This one's the oval, right? Or is it this one? Nah, it's this one. All right. If this is nine, then oval is ten. You guys are so smart. You guys are so smart. I thought this one was going to be a, a stumper. Okay, let's see. What about this one? Where's a star? All right, what number is star? Let's see. So we have four and five, 
six. Seven. <gasps> Seven. Good job. All right. What about number eight? No, that one's hard. We'll do 11. What is 11? So if this is 10. This one's 11. It's not a, a rectangle. Good job. It is kind of like a square. You were very close, but the difference is it's long. All right. We're almost done. We only have a couple more. What other shapes do we see? A circle. Let's see. What number is circle? If this one is five and this one's seven, Good job. All right. All the ones left are hard ones, so I think I'm going to have to help. This one is 12. Very good. But this one is called a pentagon. Can we say pentagon? That means it has five sides. So let's see. It's got one, two, three, four, five. It kind of is shaped like a house. That's kind of the way I used to remember it. It's kind of a house shape. Square bottom, pointy top. All right. This one, a diamond. Very, very good. It's also called, here's another one to learn, a rhombus. You're not going to need to know that until you're probably in about fourth grade. But it's a rhombus. But yes, a diamond. Very good. Okay, this one is kind of like a plus sign shape. Like a flower, right? That's kind of what I thought it was too, like a flower. What number is this one? Two, very good. All right, there's only one left and it's a really hard one. This one is called a trapezoid. Again, you're not going to need to know that for a long time, but that's what it's called. It's kind of like a square, but if you squished it on one side. What number is that one? Three. Good job. So now our clock is all complete, just in time for our next song. We all know Hickory Dickory Dock, right? Do we know Hickory Dickory Dock? Yeah. What is Hickory Dickory Dock? He's a mouse. He's a mouse. Say hello. Hello. All right, and it goes like this. Are we ready? Hickory. Wait. How does Hickory Dickory Dock go? Hickory Dickory Dock. Yeah, but doesn't it have a two? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna do it as a rock. <laughs> In my head, I was like, "There's a tune." Apparently not. Okay. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. And the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. All right, are we ready? We're going to keep going. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two. And down he flew. Hickory dickory dock. All right. Okay. What comes next? Three. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck three. And did he flee? Yes, he did. Hickory dickory dock. All right. What comes next? Four. Four. All right. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck four, and he <gasps> hit the floor. Hickory dickory dock. All right, this poor mouse, he just wants to get up the clock. Let's see if we can try. Let's see. Number five. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck five, and he took a dive. 
Hickory dickory dock. There's cheese in the clock? Is that why he's going up the clock? <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh well, poor Mr. Mouse. He can't go up the clock. Say bye, Mouse. Bye. All righty. So we're going to read our next story. This one's called Time to Get Up, Time to Go. All righty. This one's by Dave Milgram. All righty. Let's see. It's time to get up. Time to get up. Got to stretch. Early in the morning, time to get up. Who's still asleep? Who's still asleep? The dog is still asleep. And mom and dad are still asleep. But someone's awake. It's time to eat. Time to eat. It's almost lunchtime. It's time for strolling down the street. Time for swim class and time to, what's that? Is that a slide? Yeah, time to slide. Time for stopping, time to ride. Time to ride. Time for shopping. Do you ever help going shopping? Yeah? Time to cook. Time to cuddle with a, what does he have? A book. Good job. Time to pick up and time to sweep. Time to chat while babies sleep. You have to do it very quietly. You don't wake the baby. Time for playing. And time to heal. Uh-oh, what happened? Did he get a boo-boo? I think he got a boo-boo. Time to serve the evening meal. Because it's what? What are they eating? Dinner. Good job. Yeah, got to wake up for dinner time. Time to scrub up and time to get clean. Got to take bath time. Time for stories and time to dream because he's going to go to sleep. The end. The end. All righty. Now, just like that book, there's all different things we do out through the, throughout the day. So, I need your help with my next song. It goes to the tune of Frere Jaca. So, I'm going to say a thing, and then you have to say a thing. Can we practice? You want to practice? So, it's going to start like this. In the morning. In the morning. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Now, we're going to reset. Do the whole thing. Are we ready? In the morning. In the morning. I get up. I get up. 
Wash up and get dressed. Wash up and get dressed. That's my day. That's my day. When it's noon time. When it's noon time. I eat lunch. I eat lunch. I can play with toys. I can play with toys. That's my day. That's my day. When it's dinner time. When it's dinner time. I help clean up. I help clean up. Get the table ready. Get the table ready. That's my day. That's my day. All right, we're coming to the end. When it's night time. When it's night time. Get ready for bed. Get ready for bed. Put on my PJs. Put on my PJs. Time to sleep. Time to sleep. Oh, that was so good. Thank you, everyone, for all your help with that one. And then I have one last song, which is our goodbye song. And it goes like this. Here we go up, up, up. Here we go down, down, down. Here we go back and forth. Here we go round and round. Here we go to the left. Here we go to the right. Let's all blow a kiss and wave goodbye like this. Bye. Thank you all so much for coming to story time. We will be having story time next week at Broadway Park. Um, same time, 1030, and then we'll be back here. Um, and I'll just keep an eye on the calendar. And, you know, if you want to follow us on our social medias, we will usually keep that all up to date. And we also have our summer reading program coming up soon in June. It starts on June 20th and goes through July. So keep an eye out for that as well. And we'll hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye. Okay,